What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's that time of the week. It's time for the weekly rotation. And I reach back for a few channel favorites. Past channel favorites. And they just really suit a laid back casual day. Uh, obviously they work well for indoor work settings also. But just great laid back hot summer's day. Have kind of that summer vibe to them. Tropical. Maybe they're versatile and easy going. Maybe they have a lot of freshness with some soft woods. Just whatever have you. Whatever you would define as a casual summer daytime fragrance. There's probably something that fits that style in this video. So it's week number 185 in the weekly rotation. Stay tuned. Starting off on Sunday, this was so nice to revisit. I wore it out the shower again that evening. Now I have to say, the bottles I have from this brand are several years old. They perform pretty well. Like this one I get every bit of eight hours and it's pretty strong for two hours. It is Tahitian Waters from English Laundry. As you can see, my bottle's not translucent, completely mirrored and reflective. Those of you that have the newer bottles, you know you can see your juice level through it. That's not the case here. Like I said, this, this bottle's from like 2018. Very old bottle. And the performance shows, I have to say, uh, this is one brand that I do believe reformulated their fragrances um, because I have a newer bottle of Cambridge Night that is more translucent and I have old bottles, 20 ml and 100 ml of Cambridge Night. The bottle looks different, the fragrance is richer, performs a lot better, so I will say, I know I don't play the batch code game, but changes were made to, to these English Laundry fragrances. Thankfully, I got on the English Laundry hype train years ago so I have some good stuff. Uh, they're still worth the 13 bucks. You can find the loose bottles for at the rack stores. But I had to go ahead and let you guys know because I'm going to see comments where, oh, it smells great, but it's gone in 20 minutes. I don't want to see all that shit. Sorry if that's the experience you have. But for me, very stout, very strong for what it is. So this is a very sugary, sweet, kind of somewhat take on Virgin Island water. So it doesn't have the booziness. It's a brown sugar note. So there's this little dark richness type of feel to it. There's a lot of yellow florals here, uh, a lot of lang lang and you do get the coconut. It's more of a creamy, sweet, candy coconut, uh, thick and creamy, very tropical feel. Like I said, it's got a lot of the notes from Virgin Island Water with a few notable notes missing from it. They were definitely, this is their version of Virgin Island Water, and it's really good. Admittedly, it's a lot sweeter it's not a, as much of a pina colada as Virgin Island water is. you got to keep that in mind. It's not doused in lime, and it's not full of rum. But boy, it's very sweet and full of yellow florals and still has plenty of coconut. I'm a fan of this one. haven't worn it in quite a while. It was nice to reach back and spend some time with it. I wore it during the day. I wore it out the shower. Eng English Laundry Tahitian Waters. Moving into Monday. This was a nice one to reach back for. I haven't worn this one in like a year. This is such a versatile scent. The name is pretty much what the scent profile is, minus the oud. I don't really get any oud. This is from Habibi, New York. This is sage and citrus oud. So this, as the name indicates, minus the oud part, a lot of sage. It's kind of a sage bomb. Very much a blue fragrance. Uh, the citrus isn't overdone here, kind of a great, smooth grapefruit type of smell. A little musky, fresh and spicy, uh, but overall a little bit of a bubblegum feel quality. Definitely has plenty of longevity, 8 to 10 hour type of stuff every time I've put it on skin. With these pretty good sea eyes, like decent strength in the projection for about an hour and a half to two hours, and then pretty good strength still when it comes to the scent bubble. For the CIs, this is actually really good. I, this, I had did a collaboration video with them last year. They had reached out, asked me to pick a fragrance. I picked a safe play, what I thought was a safe play. And I was absolutely right. Even though this isn't a blue colored bottle, this is absolutely a blue fragrance as I assumed by the name of the note breakdown that it would be. Good stuff, I encourage you to try stuff from this house. Uh, White Moroccan leather is another one I'd like to get my hands on. That one's a really good soft blonde leather. There's some good stuff from this house. I've tried a discovery set from them. So I would encourage you to try stuff from them, especially if you like blue fragrances. This is a great niche blue fragrance. During the day, sage and citrus. Ooh, from Habibi, New York. Then we got the shower. Dead Ringer for St. Bart's from Tommy Bahama. Uh, I mean, they're what and what in price. They're what and what in smell. This one doesn't have a lot of that tequila note. Not heavy anyways. Uh, this is Vintage Black from Kenneth Cole. It smells very much 
just a slippery bottle. Very much just like Tommy Bahama set sail St. Bart's. You get that salted lime. You do get a little bit of tequila. It smells like a margarita on the rock. So this is a little bit more tropical fruity than it is warm and boozy. Because St. Bart's, believe it or not, it's actually quite warm and boozy. This is another great alternative to Virgin Island Water. We've got a couple affordable Virgin Island Water alternatives in this video. And this is good stuff. This is one of the most easygoing, daytime, laid-back, summer vibe type of scents money can buy. Great cheapy. Average performance at best, like a four-hour fragrance. Nothing crazy when it comes to that, but you can find them for around 20 bucks. It's a really good fragrance. Out the shower. Kenneth Cole, Vintage Black. Moving into Tuesday, I fell in love with this one from the first time I smelled it. It is a clone a reimagining of vintage Dior Homme Intense. This is from Paris Corner. This is in the Pandora Sense line. This is Camaro Homme Intense. I just did a full review on this one. Beautiful, waxy, super powdery iris. This is 2007 formula Dior Homme Intense. It's so good. Performance is great on it. Uh, now, admittedly, a bit more of a formal fragrance than what I've been wearing it for. I've been wearing it casually with a t-shirt, but hey, I just love this scent profile. I love Dior Homme's use of Iris, the every version of the formula, basically. I'm a big fan, so I don't care what I'm wearing with it. I'm just going to wear it because it smells so damn good to me. But admittedly, it does dress up a lot better. Not the best choice in the summertime, but it wasn't cloying for me. And I was out and about the day I was wearing it. And it's been, you know, high 80s for this. This is summer. I'm in the mountains. Um, this is good stuff, guys. I would strongly encourage you. Last I checked, they were sold out on the Aroma Concepts website. Whenever you can get your hands on it, it's 34 bucks before any discount codes. This is a straight-up cheapie. That's a powerhouse that is, what, I don't know how much closer it could be to vintage Dior Homme Intense. It's such, such a good fragrance. During the day, Pandora Scents, Camaro Homme Intense. And then was, I got out the shower. It was time for a shave, so... I rolled with the Zaharoff Signature Noir Shave Set. This is the Splash. And, of course, I gave myself a few sprays of the fragrance. So, very juniper frankincense heavy. This doesn't have the lavender. Smells very similar to Signature Pour Homme, but, like I said, it has its differences. The lavender, and I don't really get much of the cypress or anything like that, but I know the lavender, for sure, is the main thing that's missing from this one, from Signature Pour Homme. It's a more dark, resinous, hence why I get a lot of the incense take on the signature porum dna this was one of the first two flankers this and royale came out as a double pack a few years ago beautiful fragrance i gotta say the main thing i use it for these days is for the shaving experience because when mixed with the shave set because the shave set is just so good i've really been enjoying this one uh, this is one of my go-to's when it's time to shave out the shower it's a horror off signature noir Moving into Wednesday, now these are some reach backs in the collection. Uh, channel favorites, this first one, the daytime scent. This is my second bottle. I went through a bottle many years ago of this one, uh, and then the out of the shower scent. You guys, if you're regulars on the weekly rotation, you've seen this a bunch of times, but during the day I went with Mont Blanc Individuel. I've always been a big fan of this one. Yes, I think it works totally fine during the summer. It's a little bit more dense and sweet from the raspberry note. It's a little bit of chocolate in here as well. Not real heavy, but it's more of a spicy, fruity dryer sheet, if you will. A lot of sandalwood and stuff like that. But I don't think it's so dense, so thick, so creamy that you can't rock this one in the summer. I always have sporadically. I just wear it when I get in the mood for it. There's never a bad time to rock this fragrance. I still get really good performance out of this. I've heard people say the reformulation thing a thousand times over, which I'm not saying they haven't done that, but... I've always gotten at minimum six hours out of this fragrance, usually more in the seven to eight hour range. Uh, like I said, this is my second bottle I've ever had of this, and I still believe this is one of the best cheapies ever made, one of the best cheap fragrances of all time, one of the best hype beast cheapies on social media in the fragrance community of all time. This is good stuff. It was nice to reach back for it. I'm still a fan. During the day, Mont Blanc, Individuel. Then when I got the shower, this one shows up a lot on the channel. It is cool water. Wave. This is one of my favorite flankers of Cool Water. I've always been such a fan of this. One of my first unboxing, first impressions videos and full fragrance reviews on this channel was on this fragrance. The first full review was Bulgari Aqua Atlantique. The second one was this. But this one I had did an unboxing. I picked this up at Nordstrom Rack back when I lived in Texas. 
I'm a fan. And look, it didn't like wow me. It still doesn't wow me when I first got it. I was like, oh, it's okay. It's nice. But through wearing it, it's, I've really grown to appreciate it. I love the way this one smells. Zesty, bright, a lot of juniper here. Has a sharp, crisp gin smell with some pepper. It's a Sichuan pepper note. Very warm, but still shower gel aquatic at the same time. It's in the realm of Invictus Aqua, but it doesn't smell exactly like Invictus Aqua. It kind of smells like that mixed with cool water and maybe a few other things. It's kind of its own shower gel fragrance in many ways. It's one of my favorites. It, it really is. It has been for a long time. One of my favorite cheapies. For a long time, this was my favorite version of Cool Water. Now the Parfum is, so it's a close second. Out the shower, Davidoff Cool Water Wave. Moving into Thursday, wow, what a great pickup this was. Uh, shout outs to my buddy Justin for constantly recommending this one in a short amount of time to where I was like, you know what, I need to get that Brioni Eau de Parfum Eclat. I believe that's how you say it, Eclat, Eclat, whatever. Sharp grapefruit. A light hit of incense. There's all abandonment here. It's not super smoky, but it is noticeable. A little bit of pepper. I believe it's pink pepper. It's a bright, almost sweet pepper feel. There's musk. There's ambroxan. It's fresh. It still has some class to it. It's not just some super laid back fragrance, but compared to the other one that I have, the original DNA, the Eau de Parfum, that's much more classy and dressy than this one. This is a more laid back casual take on that. It's so good. It's not mold-breaking, ground-breaking, anything like that, but the quality is decent here, especially for having all this Ambroxan in here. This is such a great pickup. I didn't rate it higher than the original in the first impression combo video I did between the two, and I do think this one is still a little bit better than this, but more times than not, I have casual laid-back days. So this one suits my lifestyle a lot more, especially during this time of year. And it's ideal for it. If you need to go into the office, you need to do something in the evenings, it's signature scent worthy type of stuff in a warm climate. But I'll tell you what, more casual settings, it's a laid back vibe that you can, it still has the taking care of business vibe at the same time. Like it kind of falls somewhere in between. Like I said, not all that serious, not all that playful, falls somewhere in the middle with decent performance in that average six, seven hour range. I just don't see anything to not like about this fragrance. I wore it again out the shower. All day long, Brioni Eau de Parfum Eclat. Moving into Friday, another one that I reached back in the collection. Personal favorite of mine. One of the best blue fragrances ever made. And I was enjoying it so much, I wore it again out the shower. It is Rochas Loam. There was a time on this channel when I was ranting and raving about this fragrance. And it still deserves all that praise. You can get it for cheap, 30 to $40 range is where you can find it from discounters online juicy juniper smell very juicy slightly sweet and minty geranium feel some fresh greens bright soft wood it's not a dense hefty dark wood type of smell it doesn't smell like a nasty cedar or anything sometimes cedar can come off a little on the funky side not so much hyper versatile great everyday scent this can be that one scent that you'd be surprised what you're getting for your money as far as being decent quality doesn't smell super synthetic can dress up can dress down works fine in super high heat and can be pulled off when it's snowing outside it won't be too light to where it won't work because sometimes a light fragrance you just, it's just going to disappear it's not going to do well in the cold this does well in the cold all the way through super high heat humidity it's a great laid back casual fragrance, but also a great work fragrance. Typically the casual fragrances work well in office settings because they're usually pretty inoffensive and laid back. And that's kind of the case here. Whereas I would say it's more refined, kind of like how the Brioni fragrance we just talked about it. They kind of fall into a similar category where honestly, this one has a little bit more going on for it. I think it's a better everyday recommendation, but it also fits this laid back casual summer vibe that we're going for here with this topic and kind of the way the week worked out really. Um, I don't go into a week with a theme. They just kind of shake out the way it shakes out and then I name the video according to how the vibe was for the week. Casual, laid back, lazy summer is basically what this week was about and fragrances like this perfectly fit the mold all day long, Rosha Sloan. Finally on Saturday, what's on my skin right now, and I've been enjoying it so much that tonight I'm going to wear it out the shower again. Three days in a row, I'm going to double up on these fragrances. 
just did a haul video. I just picked this up from Fragrance Buy. A bunch of you that watch this channel recommended I check this out, and you were so right. It's so good. It's bright, mouth-watering citrus, watery notes, slightly earthy, smoky vetiver, but more fresh and woody overall. Issy Miyake, low disy pour on vetiver. This is quietly one of the best fragrances that's released this year, I think. I don't, I mean, I've had viewers tell me, you need to check this out, you need to check this out, over and over in my live stream chats and stuff like that. And I finally got around to it. It was affordable. It's a 2023 release. I found a new appreciation for more vetiver fragrances. And I was like, let me give it a shot. I was told I would like this one if I like the fresh vetivers. And boy, were you guys right. This is my favorite Issey Miyake fragrance now that I've smelled. And I haven't smelled all of them. I bought a handful of them recently. I bought a handful of them, a couple of them last year. Slowly but surely, I, I add to my Issey rotation. But this is the best one because it's just such a vibe. This one is the poster child. I'm definitely putting it in the thumbnail. It's probably going to be the one over my shoulder. You know, I typically have three fragrances on the thumbnail, two on one side, and directly behind me is kind of like the main fragrance for the theme of the, the title. That's where this one's going, because this, one, this one is the reason for this title, really. These fragrances all fit this theme, but none more so than this. This is at such a casual summer day fragrance. Such a laid-back vibe. Nothing serious here, but boy, if you needed to dress it up, you sure could. You really could. Performance won't blow you away. Uh, about six hours on skin so far with a little bit of wearing I've done. Just today is the only wearing. Uh, but the first two hours, I tell you what, I smelled myself really well. I had five sprays around the neck, nothing on the arms because I did another haul video live stream today. And I could smell myself for a solid two hours without having to look for it, just constantly reminding me it's there. And that's just coming off the sides and back of my neck. So performance isn't overwhelming, but it's noticeable. Noticeable for a respectable amount of time. I'll do a full review of this one at some point because I know I'm going to be revisiting it. But I wore it during the day. I'm wearing it during the day currently. And when I get the shower later, I'm pulling this one out again. 2023 release. Quietly, one of the best designer releases of the year, I think. It's Issey Miyake Lo Disi Por Om Vetiver. Well, that was this past week's rotation. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. What in this video do you have? Have you worn? Haven't you, have you not reached for in a while, but you do have? Are you interested in checking out? Let me know, guys. I'm curious. I want to see what you guys wore last week as well. That's always my favorite comments to read. Because it's my favorite format to do every week. And... Until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the ones I wore this past week and you give them a spray now, pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.